In this video, I want to show you how you can generate uh, random numbers and model probability experiment. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's think about an outcome or an event. Say, we want to find, let's talk about first the theoretical probability. The theoretical probability. And uh, we want to find first the probability of, say, we want to find the theoretical probability of having, uh, say, two boy and one girl in a three-child family. So now for that, to answer this question, what's the probability of having two boys and one girl? We'll have to draw a probability three. So, so this is your first child. Say this is your first child can be boy or girl. And the probability of having a boy or a girl is half. So this is also half. This is your first child. So this is the probability of having a boy or a girl as a first child. Say I'll say this is your first, this is the first child, not your. This is your first child. Say this is the second child and this is the third child. Okay, so once you have the probability of having again for the second child, after having a boy, can again be boy and girl, and that's again half and half. So you can have, a family can have a girl, and then again they can have the second child, which is a boy or a girl. So this is half, and this is also half. And finally, after having a boy and a boy, you can have the third child, and again that can be a boy or a girl. So this is half and half. And then for after having the second girl, you can have a boy or a girl, so that's half and half. Okay, this is very getting messy, so let me do the branches like this, so this is a boy and a girl. So you got half and half, you know, half and half, and from here you can have two, that is boy and a girl. So we are interested in this probability of having two boys and one girl. Now this outcome, if you go along the branches, boy, boy, boy. So this is boy, 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 this is one outcome. So if you go backwards, so, so this is girl, boy, boy. So if you go this way, boy, boy, girl. So this is boy, boy, girl. So this is what I want. This is one way. Then if you go along these branches, boy, girl, boy. So this probability is, you can go backwards, boy, girl, boy. Doesn't matter, boy, girl, boy. Boy, girl, boy. So this is also what I want. Two boys and one girl. It, it's not in any particular order. So this is boy, girl, if you go backwards, this is girl, girl, boy. So let me write this as B, G, G. We don't want this. We don't want this. Okay, now we are coming with girl. Girl, boy, boy. So this is G, B, B. So this is also an outcome that I want. Then I've got girl, girl, boy. So, sorry, girl, boy, girl. Sorry, this is girl, boy, girl. This is something I don't want. This is girl, girl, boy. G, G, B. This is also don't, I'd want. And this is finally G, 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 girl, girl, girl. You can make this better. So this, this is what I want. So this is, what's the probability of this? What's the probability of this? And what's the probability of this? So well, the probability of this is one half times one half times one half, which is one eighth. The probability of this is one eighth. This is also one eighth. And this is also one eighth. So the probability is three eighth. Three eighth is the probability. So if you want to write this as a percentage, so this is three divided by eight times 100. 
So the probability of having two boys and one girl, theoretically, is, let me get my calculator, simple calculator. So make it standard. So this is 3 divided by 8 times 100. So you can say there is 37.5% chances or probability in terms of percentage that you can have a family of two boys and one girl. Okay, now I want to do this. So let me delete this, delete the ink, clear ink. So I want to do this same experiment and I want to find the experimental probability. So when I say the probability of a boy or a girl is half, it doesn't mean that you can have, if you have uh, two families, uh, suppose if you have two children in a family, you can, it doesn't mean that if after having a boy you should be have, you will have a girl, okay? You can have, after a girl you can have a girl, after a boy you can have a boy, but theoretically it is 50, 50%. 50 so let's understand how to do a probability experiment. So I'm going to generate, so I'm going to define something. So, so let me talk about random numbers. So random numbers is a good way of generating uh, different numbers randomly. Now on this, if you have this Casio calculator, if you press on this, this first shift and this random number, so first press shift and then press the uh, decimal point. So this is your shift key plus the dot. Okay, and then what will appear on the calculator is something like this, random number, rand, rand number like this. And if you press equal after that, if you press equal, you'll get numbers like say 0 0.135, okay, and uh, say 0 0.3574. For these numbers will randomly generate. So I'm going to use numbers to define what we want. Suppose if I get, say, 0, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, if I get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, I'm going to call that as a boy or a girl. doesn't matter. You can say it's boy. And if I get 3, 5, one, three, five, seven, or nine. I'm going to define that as a girl. So you need three numbers. So if you get three numbers, so what does this mean? This means this is odd, odd for girl and even for boy. So this is odd. So you can say this is a family of girl, girl, girl. So this is odd, this is odd, this is even. So this is a family of uh, girl, girl, boy. Okay, so let me delete this. So let me do an experiment to show you. So I'm going to write, make up three columns. So random number and type of family. <coughs> type of family. I'm going to use my scientific calculator. It will have more numbers, but doesn't matter. I'm going to only take the first three numbers. So this is my scientific calculator. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, so let me cancel this. If you go random number and if you press equal, I'm going to look at the first three numbers. It's 0, 3, 7. So the first number that I got is 0, 3, 7. So what have I defined? Odd for, even for boy and odd for girl. So this is a family of zero is an even, so this is boy, girl, girl. Okay, so if you press again equal, you get seven, nine, one. You're looking on, only at the first three numbers, seven, nine, one. So it is seven, nine, one. Don't, so this is all odd, so this is girl, girl, girl. Okay, let me press again, equal, 169. Okay, so it's 169.
9. So this is odd, even, odd. So this is girl, boy, girl. And one more. So this is 0, 4, 1. 0, 4, 1. So both are even. So this is boy, boy, girl. So I want you to do this for, say, 30 families. So this is, this is your first family, this is your second family, this is your third family, and this is your fourth family. So I'll do it for, say, 30 or 50 times. And then from this, you find what's the, suppose in this case, if the question is, what's the probability of having, say, uh, two boys, two boys and one girl. Out of four, out of four outcomes, we've got total four outcomes, four families. So this is two boys and one girl, so it's one out of four. So what happens is as you do more number of experiments, this will approach three-eighth. This will approach three-eighth because here, if you're done up to three, it says you've got 25% chance. But if you keep approaching a greater number as you make this experiment larger and larger, this 25% will approach 37.5%. So I want you to do that experiment yourself and say it will be good to go up to say 30 or 50.